Welcome to the 25th video on building a social network with Go. Long time has passed. This time we will do a little refactor of the real-time system and introduce a real PubSub messaging system instead of the sync map we were using before. We will use NATS for that. And since we are doing a refactor here, I'll change the way I've been usually coding during this series and write more test-able code by using interfaces. So I will do a little wrapper over the NATS API. First, I need a method that allow me to send some data on a given topic. Pretty much the same as the NATS API. Then, I need a method to subscribe to a topic to start receiving data. I will use a callback function. I could have gone with a Go channel too. Also, return a function to stop the subscription. There. Now I will write an interface definition, and use that in the service layer. That way I can mock it for testing. So let's now use it. We won't be using those sync map anymore. But before removing them, let's create a configuration object, since the amount of arguments is getting too big. There. Now let's also update it at the main.go. That's better. Now let's connect to NAT server. And we use that connection to create our Nats pub sub. Done. Let me just make sure we read this URL from the environment variables and from the CLI flags. There. Now let's give it a try. We start cockroach first as normal. And, in another tab, we start NAT server. Looks like it builds and run without issues. Great. Now let's go, and actually replace those synced map calls, with our new PubSub system. Here. In this broadcast method, I'll start by commenting out, the old code.
I will use the user ID to build this topic name. For the data, we cannot use Go structures directly. We need to encode them into a binary format. Instead of JSON, I will use Go's GOB encoding. This is fine, since I only plan to support Go for this project. But if you need intercommunication with other systems, I recommend you to use something else, like protocol buffers. And that should be that change. Now let's do the change here, where we subscribe. We subscribe to the same topic we just published the data. I will run this piece of code in a Go routine, so we don't delay other subscribers. Here we will do the opposite, and decode the GOB encoded data into a Go structure. Remember to unsubscribe from the topic once we are done. And that looks like it. Now we need to do the same with the other broadcast and subscription methods. For the comments topic, I will use the post ID. This time, I will do the user ID filtering here, instead of at the broadcast method. See that before, this was being done here. But now, we don't get to iterate each client. So now it works slightly different. At last, let's do the notifications. For the notifications topic, we will use the user ID.
There we go. Done. Now we can remove those sync maps. Also, remove those client definitions. Done. Now let's give it a try. Whoops. Looks like I forgot to run the schema migrations. There. Now let's check again. Yep. Looks like it keeps working just fine, as it was before. With this change, the application will now be able to scale to multiple instances. And get real-time updates to all of them. And that's all for this video. Remember to leave your comments below. See you in the next one.